Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to play, um, I've been playing with this combination and I've been using Floetrol and I have been using um, silicone to do acrylic pouring. I have also worked with Mod Podge. Now, um, Nancy Vest, I'm going to say Vastine, I'm going to link her channel down below, suggested to me the other day to use baby oil. And I thought, all right, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it on a uh, video for you guys, because if this works, this is going to be a fantastic, um, I want to say at home kind of gig where you don't have to go buy Floetrol, you don't have to go buy uh, silicone and you can kind of get the stuff in your craft store or you might even have it in your home. So let's get to getting. Okay, so here's what I did. I have Mod Podge mat and I poured it in my little cup I got from the dollar store because I'm very cheap. And you can see I put it in there. I added also about, I'm going to say about an eighth of a cup of water and thinned it out. So you can see it's like kind of almost like, uh, what would I even say that's like? Kind of like whole milk in a sense. And then I took about a tablespoon of glazing medium from Folk Art. Of course, use glazing medium that you have at home. But uh, this is what I use because I love it. And you can see it's almost like a Alfredo sauce, I want to say, okay? Um, I've done this before. I did it and it was a bit too runny and I really didn't like it. So there is like a, you know, you want to kind of get it so when you pour it, it runs, right? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is decide my colors. Now you don't want to get too many colors that are going to blend and look like um, a brown mess. I'll be polite today. So what I've decided to do, I have so many ideas in my head. So this is what we're going to do first. And I also have a bigger cup that's dry, has nothing in it. And these are all obviously dry. Um, I'm, I'm telling you what, these are my yogurts. This is an empty um, little plastic container that I had. This is the lid to the um, silicone spray. I just use what I have. Okay, so first I'm going to go with some pearl because I want to see if it shows up pearly or not. And I'm just going to do about a tablespoon, not even, maybe even a half a tablespoon, you see? Okay, that's the color. I am going to use, I don't know if I want patina or, yeah, maybe I want patina because it's kind of like a greeny. I'll do it in here. I'm going to do same little bit, not too much. Let me show you. Okay. I guess that's about half a tablespoon. I don't know. Okay, and then we're going to do some pink. Of course, this is fuchsia, but use whatever uh, color that you want. What you, what you, what you want. Same little peep peep amount. You don't have to use a lot, and that's, I love doing this. I'm going to use some black. Now, this is pure black, obviously. I'm going to give it a shake. It takes a little bit. I'm not going to use as much. This looks about a half a tablespoon. Maybe even a teaspoon if we're saying. I'm just going to do two like squirts. <laughs> Let me show you. Can you see? That's just two squirts. And okay, I need some white, some white, some white. Where's my white? Where is my white? <laughs> okay, I know I have white sitting here because I keep it here all the time. All right, obviously, I must have cleaned up and thought, let me put my white away. I don't know why. White, white, white. I, I don't know why it's sitting right there, but it is. So we're gonna we're gonna use it. Maybe I'm out of it. That might be it because I have to open this one. So maybe I'm out of it. I go through Mod Podge and I go through white and black like crazy. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little. I'm going to do like the tables, like the teaspoony and a little squeeze more. Boop. Okay. All right. Okay. So now I have my white, my black, my pearl. Oh, that's pretty. My little bit of green, pink. I need another, I need like another blue. How about a purple? Let's do a royal violet. I'm going to shake it, I'm going to shake it, I'm going to shake it. Now this is kind of, you hear it? 
that's kind of watery already. So pay attention, you know, sometimes that's what happens. And I'm gonna do about the same. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, I'm gonna use this that I mixed that with. I'm not gonna worry, cause it's going in here anyway. And let's start light to dark. And I'm just gonna add a, almost three times as much in the paint. Now be careful at this point, And you wanna really make sure you, especially when you're using your white, you wanna make sure you really stir that in. And when I lift it up, can you see? No, you probably can't. But you see how liquidy it is? That's what you want. Okay. So white's done. She's done. She's done. Now I'm going to go in with some of the pearlized yellow. Same kind of gig. And we're going to stir, going to stir. Now, glazing medium, obviously, it thins this out and makes it glazy. Um, and the uh, Mod Podge and water acts as your pouring medium with the glazing medium in it. Okay, see, that's, that's good because you want it to run. And we're going to put a little bit of oil in here, so we shall see. And then I'm going in with some pink. Same thing, up almost three. Oh, where you spill it everywhere because I am so excited. One of my favorite things to do in the world is paint. And this acrylic pouring, to find something that you guys can do at home, because a lot of you have written me and are nervous about the Floetrol or the silicone. And when I saw Nancy's comment, I thought, you know what, Mod Podge, I love you guys know I I was gonna say I drink it for breakfast but that's not true I don't want anybody drinking it but um, I love Mod Podge and Mod Podge does so many things that like I use Mod Podge in way different ways than just using it as a glue or a sealer so you know it's exciting okay so now we're gonna go in some blue now that blue is a little thick remember so we're gonna do a little bit more of the pouring medium, aka Mod Podge, aka Water Down Mod Podge, aka Glazing Medium with Mod Podge and Water. You get what I'm saying? Okay. And you can see I'm just, you can hear it. Like I'm scraping it, I'm stirring it. And that's runny. It's kind of what we're wanting. Beastie Boys is in my head, but I'm not going to sing it. Okay. Now we have purple and we have black. And I think, I think I might add some glitter in the black because look, if we're going to go for it, let's go for it. All right. Got the purple. And I'm stirring. This is just a, um, a uh, chopstick from my favorite sushi place because <laughs> I am very, uh, I shouldn't use that word, but I, I'm not, I love sushi, but I cannot use these for anything. So I had a collection. My husband, I believe threw away some of them because I had about a hundred that I saved because I do enjoy the sushi. And now you can see this is a little, it's not as runny. So we're going to add a little bit more, just a little bit. Um, so I save these, I save them to use in my dolls. I save them to use as stirs. I save them to use when I'm using my heat gun or glue gun and I want to hold something. I use it to sometimes poke my husband in the butt because it gets on my nerves. I use it for itching my back, you know. Okay. 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 We have the black left. Okay. Black was a little thick too. Let's see what we can do with this bad boy. Might have to add a little bit more, but that's okay. Is the scratching getting to you? Somebody gonna leave me a comment? Why? Why? Why do I have to hear the scratching? Why? You're a horrible YouTuber. 
Now remember, the Mod Podge and the Glazing Medium are both clear. So they will dry clear. You can see this made it a kind of gray, but when it dries, you'll see it won't be, um, it won't be as gray. I think I might add a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Okay. Now, I have some glitter. I have some Martha Stewart glitter in purple. Maybe I will add it. I don't want to add. Oh, let's do this. <laughs> let's try to open it. It's okay. I'm going to add the purple in here because why not? Just so it gives it a little ba-boom, right? And then I have some black. And this is going to add a little kapow, right? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to make that noise, but if it does, we will find out. Just so it gives a little bit of shine. It doesn't have to. But I just think it's going to be pretty with the Mod Podge. And believe me, if this works out, I have so many ideas in my head. So let me know down below. Do you want me to keep experimenting and playing? Because I do have so many ideas in my head. Because I think I'm so weird. I've been told that my whole life. I'm weird. I come up with weird ideas. And nine out of the ten times, I'm not going to lie they work okay so now i'm just going to wipe this up because if you've been with me for a while y'all know i walk away wearing all of my paint okay so now we have this and by the way if you're watching me for the first time and would like to please subscribe the subscribe button is down below hit that little bell next to it you'll be notified of any uploads that i do which is usually uh five six days a week and giveaways and all kinds of fun stuff so if you'd like to please subscribe okay now i'm gonna add we're going in this is what nancy said and you could tell this is well loved baby oil because i'm from back in the day when i laid outside and i'd smear baby oil all over me i had the most supple i think we all did back there the most supple delicious silky soft skin burnt to a crisp and I loved every minute of it. Okay. Now I'm going to do, now you might want to use a dropper for this. Maybe I should because I am, I am what they call challenged in a way and I would spill all of it. So I'm just going to get my dropper and I'm going to do a nice piece of fuzz on there, Cal. One, two, three, four, one, two, and I'm putting it in these. I'm just doing three, four drops. Your choice. I'm not real sure how much to put in. But it should react with the water and give you some. When she, when Nancy said it, when I read it, I was like, girl. Kelly, how come? Oil, oil, girl, oil, oil, Earl, Earl. Okay. Don't ask. Okay. So now we're done with that. And I got to move this and put the lid on it because I will end up with it all over me. And we're going to give it a quick, just a quick kind of boop, boop, just a little bit of a swirl, dab, swirl, because i got to pour it in the cup yet, so drop the dropper on the floor, which I'm sure means I will slip on baby oil later. Okay. All right. Now, before you go and pour it in the cup, double check. Oh, black cup. Double check if it is fluid. And that's pretty fluid. Pretty fluid. That might use a little bit more of this. Just a little bit. Fluid, fluid. Okay, so now I'm going to move this out of the way because, again, I will spill it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have my cup. Like I said, it's clean. It's just dirty. You know what I'm saying? And I want, I've seen, not going to lie, the white you kind of want to put in last because when you flip it, no. 
yeah, last. So when you flip it, the white comes through on the bottom. So I'm going to start with one of these three. I think I'll start with, I think I'm going to start with pink. And all I'm going to do is pour it in. Sorry, it's hard to pour it in. And I like using these yogurt cups. I mean, look, you can go to the dollar store and get these plastic red cups and all in smalls, obviously. See how it comes out most of it? Because um, I can use them over and over and I can peel out what I don't want. So I'm going to use the yellow next. And when I pour it, I'm going to try to do like a swirl around. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but. That's my dog shake. I'm so sorry. All right, you see, that's kind of where I'm going. And then I think I'm going to do purple and I'm just going to kind of pour it in in the middle. Anyway, it's kind of like a silicone surface and especially when you put the baby oil in and stir it. I'm going to go. I don't know if I want all this black. I think I might do a swirly black swirl swirl. And I think that's all I'm going to do. See? Whoops. So we have that black in there. Oh, what the heck? You know what? I'm going for it. Okay. I'm going for it. Then I'm going to do the green. I'm just going to pour it. Watch my head if it's in the way. I'm sorry. And then the piece the result, the white. And this I'm just going to kind of, because I want it everywhere. All right. Okay. I'm going to leave that sit for a second. Now what I like to do is take an old towel, obviously. Um, it's old because I'm going to throw it away. And I'm just going to give a quick swipe in these. Just to get out the majority of the, because like some of them, it's still sick. And now you can always, if you have little drippies, you know, just little dots, it ain't going to hurt nothing. A little bit of the yellow left. Now I'm going to be doing, uh, I got a, I got one I'm so excited to do. Um, which if this works out, I'll be doing soon. If not, I'm back to the drawing board. But I like to show you the, the fails as well as the um, things that work, because for me, it's like, you know, you can, let's see, maybe you watch it and you're like, oh, you know what, try this or do that, or you have, you know, ideas too. You know, we're all a community. We're all just trying to try to get going. All right, I'm just going to lay those there. Okay, I'm going to leave that sit for a second. I'm not going to wipe this black out right now because it'll be a mess and I don't need that right now in my life. I'm going to move my paintbrushes because I'm in the middle of doing a thing and I don't want to get them icky. Okay. Now I do have a foil pan. I bought two of them. Matter of fact, let me see. Maybe I should get it out just because I am a mess. Let's see. Maybe too big for my thing right now had these sitting there to use and I just haven't. Okay. All right. Don't going to hurt anybody. All right. I'm just going to set that there for a minute. And what I'll probably do is put this down for my, um, I wonder if I could push these out. Now wouldn't be the time to do it. I'm sure. Just give it a little more. I don't know if it's going to make a difference or not, but oh, I wonder if I can use my roly poly. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that helped or not. Don't know if any of it helped, but there it is. Okay. And then what I'm going to use is this canvas that I painted black because I want to see how these colors show up 
on a black canvas. Now, here's a little tip. You can see this is painted black. Now, I used black gesso, of course. You can use black uh, acrylic paint if you want, if you don't have black gesso. If you have white gesso and you want to add some black acrylic paint in it and stir it up and do that, whatever. Um, it doesn't matter. But I want you to pay attention when you put it on. You can see like right here, it's very opaque, very opaque. And then here, all I did was I took a um, piece of paper, printer paper, whatever you have, and I let it dry for like a minute because just so it dries very fast, acrylic paint dries very fast. I set the paper down on it. I gave it a mush. I lifted it up. So it peeled up certain parts. So that way, when I put this down on it, it's going to kind of react different. This is going to be a lighter area. This is going to be darker. So we're going to see what it does. I'll know. We're going to find out in about a second. Okay. So there's that mess. Looks like uh, sprink candy sprinkles. We shall see. Oh, I know what else I wanted to do. Oh, Kelly, quit thinking. Okay. So I want to take some ATC cards. These are just your normal ATC cards you get in a pack. Of course, you can make them with uh, any kind of paper that you have, be it um, watercolor paper, mixed media paper, uh, how you say uh, poster board, you see what I'm saying? And I'm going to lay them just for. Now, I also want to try this with fabric, which I will be doing. I'm going to be doing um, another video on that because I have an idea for that as well. So this is going to catch any of the stuff that falls. And you can put paper under here and do your mixed media paint, you know, whatever you want. But I'm, I'm just going to try something. Okay, so let's see what that needs to stay there. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put this as close in the middle as I can. This is just a 8 by 10 And bam. And I'm going to do this. Make sure it's kind of even. Kind of pull it this way. Pull it that way. And lift. And now I'm just going to kind of swirl it a bit so it goes everywhere. And I like the black because if it doesn't get everywhere, it kind of is already primed, right? Oh, let's see what happens. Now I'm just going to kind of hold it over here so if it drips goes on my cards. Drip this way a little bit. And that could turn out to be a complete mess, but who knows? Oh, but it's looking pretty. All right, I'm gonna try to get it back this way. I have a feeling my hands are gonna get dirty. Gonna get dirty. Oh, I love, it looks like a um, gobstopper inside. Now maybe I should take some more of this and see. If it will trip out. I'm sorry, my cat's playing with something over there. I have no idea what. And then I'm gonna kind of drip around just to add a little bit more since it's coming out really like this pink color just to break up some of that blue because I'm not really going I'm just going for abstract I'm not necessarily going but I'm going to tell you I'm digging this so much oh my goodness okay all right so now I'm just going to drip we'll drip over this and again I'm not worrying about it covering everywhere you, if you do if you're worried you know you just do what you got to do to cover it up but I kind of like that black if it shows through. If not, and I get it all covered, then I'm like, I'm a winning. I'm winning then. I wouldn't call me a winner, but okay. I know. I'm gonna turn it back to you guys. Just wait a minute. Okay. All right. Now we're just gonna go this way. And these are muted colors. I can see. Next time I might do a little stronger. And all I'm going to do is bring us down to this corner a little bit more. Yeah. 
one nice thing is, and I noticed about the Mod Podge and what we're doing, is that it um, dries very quickly, which I like. Now I'm going to tell you a few things that happened. All right, I don't necessarily want to keep holding it because I don't want my thumb in it, but I am going to kind of like swipe. And if you don't want to use your finger, use, you know, um, you have an old credit card or Mac card or whatever you have. Just kind of tapping it just so it kind of gets everywhere. I'm not going to worry too much about the sides because I can always go back in with uh, another paint. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, I like these colors. So I'm going to leave that sit just for a second. I want to pour out of the air. Let me see what I could do here. That's going to probably be too dark. Yeah. No. That's not going to work. Kind of comes up too gray. Which, you know, at the end of the day, once it's dry, it's going to look different. But we'll see. I might just leave them. I'm just going to leave those with that color. I am, however, going to wipe my hands because they are a mess. Now, I am going to take, I'm going to move the camera in once I get everything off my hands. You can barely see the yellow I put in there, so hopefully when it dries, you will. All right, I'm going to move you in just a little bit. And I'm going to take the blowtorch, and I'm just going to see if we get anything out of it. Any uh, more spells? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Genius. Done. This is great. Now don't hold it too long on one area because this is glue and it's going to dry fast. I'm going to fill this again. And it'll bubble and I really don't want it to bubble. If it does, you know, what are you going to do? Oh, I like all this. Okay, I think we got a, a lot of cells in there. Oh, this area is everything right there. Okay. If you're sensitive to smells or chemicals, please put something over your face. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Now, I'm going to let this dry. You can heat it with the heat gun. However, you don't want to hold it on one area. And you want to hold it up very high because if you hold it too close, let me just show you because if you hold it too close, it's going to blow the product around. If you hold it up high, it's not going to blow it around and everything's going to stay. This is a success. And the nice thing, the nice thing with using the um, blowtorch is, and you don't have to, you just leave it dry, you know, you use your heat gun, whatever. Um, maybe you have one of the things that lights the grill that you could just run over this, one of the uh, lighters. But the nice thing is that when you do use the uh, lighter or the heat gun, it kind of seals that top. So it kind of stays where it's at. Um, so you don't have to worry like when it dries. Now there's some drippage. I'm just gonna run my hand over. Probably dripping on all sides, but that's okay. But can you see? I want my light to fall. Can you see how cool? Look at that. I'm gonna move it in. Look at that. Look how beautiful. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gloss it with my um Mod Podge hard coat, either the hard coat or I have, what else did I have? The gloss, the regular gloss. I haven't quite decided what, but I'm going to gloss it with the Mod Podge to get it a little bit of shine, um, that kind of thing, or maybe a top coat of the Folk Art uh, spray. I don't know yet. I haven't decided, but I'm so excited. This is such a win. It only took me a half hour. 
and really that's with me talking and blah, blah, blah. Um, you probably could get this done a little bit sooner. I will put my website link down below with all the uh, stuff that I used and the ingredients. This is fantastic. I am so freaking excited. Mod Podge glazing medium. Hello. And a little bit of baby oil. Don't forget to check out now Nancy's uh, YouTube channel, the link down below as well. And leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy this, enjoy my videos and uh, keep your eyes out. I got a little giveaway coming up. A little giveaway. Love you guys. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Progress, not perfection. And I love you guys so very much. I am so blessed and I hope y'all have a fantastic day. See you later. Bye.